back. So today I'm doing the best of beauty tag for 2013. Jesus has this year flown by so fast and this was the year that I got into beauty and makeup and things and then I started my channel so this is kind of a special year for me personally but I'm just playing with some rice from my old brush holder. I'm weird. <laughs> but um first of all Merry Christmas. Christmas was yesterday and I hope you guys had a great one. So let's just get into this tag. So the first category is primer, and I believe this award goes to the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. It's the stick one, and I have used this beyond and above. It's like to the bottom. It's the nub. Love it so much. And this eye look I've done today was created with the Naked 3. Oh, and I'm sorry, the Naked 2. <laughs> I'm thinking of yesterday. Um, this is the Naked 2, and I really don't like the Naked 2 that much, but I'm finding ways to love it. And if you guys are wondering, my lighting has changed. I got a Vanity Girl Hollywood mirror for Christmas. So I'll be doing, like, a what I got for Christmas video very soon, but let's just get back into the tag. <clears throat> I've used this primer above and beyond. You know, I need a new one, but I decided to try some other primers out there, but this was definitely a favorite for the year. Then foundation. I have two foundations. I have a drugstore and a high end. I have the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. I just think this foundation is the best ever. Um, so hydrating. Great coverage. It looks very natural on the face. Easy application and it has a pump. That's what I love also. And who cannot resist this packaging? Also, I've been loving the CoverGirl 3-in-1. These are kind of similar foundations, except for this one has a little bit more coverage. This has a pump as well. And this has the lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation. And it's oil-free, and I just love it. I'm wearing it today. Let's see if we can turn these lights down a little bit. No, I don't like that. I just like a full blast. <laughs> Maybe a little down. No, I like it full blast. So next is conceal. I look kind of washed out. A little bit on camera. Hmm. I have been loving the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I've had this concealer for like two or three months and I'm still not even like dented it. Barely has a nice spongy applicator and I just love it. The consistency is perfect. Uh, great for under eyes, great for blemishes. All around perfect concealer for me. Next is powder and I have two. This is a setting powder from NARS. This is the translucent loose one. They have a pressed one that I do want to try but for right now this will do. Great. It makes, I think it just makes my foundation look better and it's just a great setting powder. Now, and then I have a pressed powder. This is my Urban Decay Naked Pressed Powder. And then this, I you can see I've loved this. This is loved so much. And you can see how much pan I've had on it. I think the pan just says it all that this is like the perfect pressed powder. Okay, so next is bronzer. And I am freaking in love with the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. Smells like chocolate. This is the medium to deep one. They do have a milk chocolate sole, which I believe is lighter. And this is a nice, beautiful matte bronzer. And this isn't the exact one that I've used a lot. It's just like the Prada. Because it's in the Too Faced A Few of My Favorite Things palette. And I've just been using that in there. And I finally bought a full size. So I just thought I'd use the full size version instead of the one that I've used a lot since this is a little easier to show instead of showing a whole palette. Next is blush, and this goes to my all-time favorite blush ever, NARS Deep Throat. Hate the name, love the blush. Swatches do not do NARS products justice. I just think this is one of the most beautiful blushes I have ever tried. So beautiful. And who doesn't love little NARS packaging? So next is highlighter and I have two. I have Max 
MSF in um, which stands for mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle this is a nice chunky highlight I know it sounds kind of weird but it goes like right under here and then down my nose that's what I usually do and it's just so beautiful it works for my everyday kind of lifestyle with this and then something that's the complete opposite is Hourglass is Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder. This is the complete opposite. This is so finely milled and works as an all over face powder for like a nice luminous glow. And I just both been loving those products. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, eyeshadow palette. These two is really have really ruled my life. The Lorac Pro and the Naked Original. I would say the Naked 3, but I haven't had like a, lo a lot of time to play around with that. So I didn't include that one in here. But you guys know what this one looks like. I just feel like this light doesn't like capture everything nicely. Have Bake's my favorite. Okay, let's turn this down a little. I think that's good. And then the Lorac Pro Palette. I've really been loving this. I've hit pan on one of my favorite colors. So, and I just think this is so versatile. You have your creams, your nudes, your gold, your bronzes, your pinks, your taupes, your every color. Matte black, some jewel tone colors. Just beautiful colors. So next is eyeliner. And these, I have two. This Pencil liner from Urban Decay in Perversion. Beautiful pencil liner. And then my Kat Von D Trooper felt tip liner. That's the felt tip under. I just love those two. I think they're the great, the gr some of the greatest eyeliners. Cause I have problem with like applying eyeliner. They just make it so easy for me. Then for mascara, I have Benefits. They're real. And this just lengthens my lashes to a beautiful, natural finish. And I just love it because it gives me so much length. And everyone's like, are you wearing false lashes? No, that's a benefit. They're real. <laughs> and then I have a Revlon's Lash Potion. I freaking all-time favorite mascara. Great volume, great length, great everything about this mascara. So next is lip products. And for lipstick, I have four. I have uh, Maybelline's Color Whisper. This is Petal Rebel. Such a beautiful pink color. And then I have Revlon's Cream Lipstick in Berry Hot. Like hot, hot, like hot look. And this, I love these formulas. That is mainly why I love Revlon lipsticks. Their formulation, the cream formulation, is amazing. It's the bomb.com. Like, it's the best. Then I have two higher-end ones. I have Bite Beauty's Fig. This is the first Bite Beauty lipstick I've tried. And I just have to say, it is so beautiful. So moisturizing. And the formulation of these are fantastic. Then I have Max Cream Cup. This is a favorite because this is the perfect nude for me. I really have a problem with finding nude lipsticks because either it's too much like my skin tone and it looks like I put foundation over my lips or it's just like pink. Like it's not even a nude, it's a pink. It's just like this is the perfect balance between nude and pink. This is a pinky nude and it truly is nude. So love it and love the cream sheen formulation so next is lip gloss and i have two because i can never just pick one product i have buxom's lip cream full on lip cream in lavender cosmo this is the perfect like cotton candy pink it's so nice this like it doesn't plump but it just feels so nice on the lips it's very hydrating and it's just like got that minty feel which I really like and then I have four other ones but this is the NYX butter gloss this is in creme brulee this is just the first one I um ever gotten for a butter gloss so this is why I picked that one it's just so pretty these are so pigmented so hydrating and smooth on the lips they're not really sticky and they're cheap as dirt so why not 
Okay, so the next category is lip pencil, and I really don't own lip pencils. I don't have like lip liners or anything, but these kind of go in place of a lip pencil. These are the L'Oreal Color Rouge La Lac and La Mattes. My favorite is the La Lac, but these two are both st stunning. This is Lacquerize. This is a beautiful purpley pink and then this is the matte for me and this is a nice matte red perfect matte red i just think these two are really good i think the formulation is perfect they're pigmented they're opaque the mattes aren't really dry because like a lot of matte lipsticks or lip pencils can feel really dry on me and i don't really like that and this just feels so great this, cup, this light is really washing me out. I look like a ghost. Okay, and then the last one is subscription service. And this is the only subscription service I have. So, and I obviously love it. And it is Ipsy. I think everyone has this, basically. Not everyone, but a lot of people do use Ipsy. I just think it's great for me to test out some products. $10 a month, you get a great, beautiful makeup bag. This is the December Ipsy bag. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I got. I got this Mirabella Eye Blender brush. This, I looked this up, retails for $27. So I already got my money's back. Double. And then I got these Salon Perfect Strip Lashes. And I really don't wear lashes, so it'll give me a nice chance to try out some. And then I got this Pop Beauty Trio. Pop Beauty is sold at Ulta. And this is in Smokin' Hot. This is like smoky colors. You have a nice like kind of uh, silver, gray, black. Mm. And then two more. I have this J Cat Beauty, the big lip pencil. This is a red lip pencil. Very red lip pencil. And then I have this Be About Bombshell, the one stick in Sunset. And this is like a cheek and lip tint. Kind of like the, um, there it is. And then it's kind of like the NARS, the multiple stick or something like that. And then you, of course, you get this beautiful, I lost my words, my, this beautiful makeup bag. Ipsy, I just think it's it's affordable and you get, these are all full size products. These are obviously full size. This is obviously full size and these are full size. I got five full size products for $10 and this is, bag is well over worth $50. So that is the best of beauty tag. I tag everyone to do this because this is so fun. Just going through your collection and seeing what you've really been loving these past uh month this these past month this past year and i will let tag i will um list all the categories down below so you guys can do this too thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys later bye